Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, rest assured that there's more tutorials coming, but I wanted to show you some of my new kits. This is the first kit that I ever designed. Unfortunately, the first rev was not good, but this rev is fantastic. What it is, it's an uh, analog to digital converter based uh, combination lock sequential combination lock. So what that means is uh, these 10 buttons are only consuming one data line uh, on the on the, my PIC 18F1220. How am I doing that? Uh, I'm using a resistor divider using these uh, 2K ohm resistors. So every time you press a button a different voltage goes to the ADC pin. Anyway, you guys won't care about that right now. You want to see a demonstration. So what I'll do is I'll turn it on. Now there's two modes of programming here. There's non-jumper mode and there's jumper mode. Uh, jumper mode means you have to connect this jumper. And in the uh, non-jumper mode, which in which case you leave this unconnected, you program in your own code. So on power on, let's put in a code. You hold the button until this LED starts blinking. So let's do 6659. That uh, green blinking LED tells me that it's accepted the code. So now if I put in 6659, the LED turns on and the relay turns on, which means I can activate uh, AC, AC devices using this uh, output terminal block. So if you, um, so I can basically turn on a power lock to open a door, close a door, and then when I press the button again, any other button, I hold it down, and the relay turns off, at which point it goes back into programming mode again, and it's, or, or rather, uh, scanning mode again. So now it's looking for the same combination. So let's put in the wrong combination. Beep, 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 wrong combination. Say I take my sweet time putting in a combination. Timeout. There's a timeout period, which means you have to. Uh, you have to enter it, enter it quickly enough. Now here's another thing. What we have here is an external regulated 5 volts, and these are all possible output pins. There's an, a regulated uh, 5 volt output, there's a ground output, there's two unused ports in case I wanted to make any changes to it, and there is a tamper output, which means if you, as soon as you put in the wrong, any wrong value, any wrong value, the tamper output goes high. Uh, as well, when you uh, when you put in the right code, the unlock uh, the unlock pin will go high. So that's only if you want to interface with your microcontroller, because you can use this with your microcontroller. In the meantime, you can use it with your microcontroller, or you can use it to control AC devices. It really is a standalone device, very easy to use. So now I'll show you uh, jumper mode. So as you can see, I've placed a jumper right here on the JMPR pins, and you really only need a piece of wire for that and I've turned on, turned on the power. So on power on, it does a search to determine whether or not that jumper is actually there or not. In the case of when it is, the programming is set, meaning it's we have a predetermined code for you. Uh, I believe in this case it is 10, 10, 10, 9. Yes, that is the code. So this is so, you know, you know as soon as you put that jumper on, you power it up. You know the code is automatically going to be 10, 10, 10, 9. So this saves you in case you know you're constantly programming and reprogramming. You don't always have to shut it off. You want to put a wall word on your input. You know you want to have this always powered on. So if we're putting the wrong code, beep beep beep, useless. So there will be a more in-depth uh, video for this. We might even use a solenoid or two and make our own door lock. But in the meantime, I hope you I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some of our more interesting kits. Really appreciate your time, guys. Thanks for watching.